morning. I am in Sri Mangal. I've just made the journey from Silit. I came yesterday on the train and this is my room. First time I've actually paid for one here in Bangladesh. It's pretty nice. Uh, 10 pounds for the night. 1,000 taka per night, something like that. Which is a really good deal. En suite with a sit down toilet. This place is called uh, Greenview Hotel. <laughs> Although, that could be contested. So this is in the south of Silly Division, and to be honest, the real beauty of Sri Mangal lies in the tea estates and outside of the town. So that's where I'm going to be heading today. I'm completely on my own here for two days before I go back to Dakar. So I don't have any guide with me or anything. So I'm just going to do my best and uh, it'll be a bit of an adventure. So let's get outside of the city and try and visit some of the, the natural beauty of the area. So I arrived at BTRI, the Bangladesh Tea Research Institute. Beautiful area as you can see here. And uh, I walked into these offices and Abdul very kindly uh, gave me some tea and we had a bit of a chit chat and he's agreed to show me around a little bit. So uh, yeah, let's have a look. This is the research center here, established 1957. Actually, it is established from England, Bangladesh Tea Garden. And uh, first, uh, 1954, which is a tea nursery, at first uh, uh, tea seed. Which time of year is the best time of year for the tea? It's usually during monsoon season or... Uh, monsoon season. Yeah. So these are all the different types of uh, tea plants you have. All the information, the general habit, the size and description, and also the tea quality. It's a very uh, large area. Near about 500 acres. 500 acres. Behind. You live just behind here. That's a really nice place to live, very peaceful. Wow. <coughs> a better time of year, you can imagine just how incredible this would all look. It would be a much brighter, more colorful shade of green uh, as it's only just early spring. So this is the original mother tree. 1960. Wow. You can see here, this is a uh, jackfruit growing on the trees. Tea nursery. I heard that women pick the tea because their hands are more delicate. Also, uh, men hair, but uh, men okay. rare. Okay, it's more rare. Yeah. This is your home, okay. Hey, <coughs> Rumi. This is what happens when you rock up in places in Bangladesh. You get invited in times and offered tea and sweets <laughs> incredible again hospitality is another level bangladeshi uh sweets. sweets yeah and some juice that's very very kind of you thank you so much i've now left the btri and i'm walking down this long road i think about one kilometer and then i can reach a place where there's a special concoction of seven colored tea which is very famous here in Silit, Silit division and probably in Bangladesh. Hey! <laughs> Finley Tea, one of the largest estates here in Sri Mangal.
Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Krishna Mandir. Oh yeah, this yeah. is a temple. Yeah, Krishna yeah. Mandir. Krishna temple, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey! <laughs> this is another temple. Yeah. Hindus. Hindu area. Yeah. Just on my way down this long road in the heat. But look at this. So this path I just walked down was Thinley Tea, all these fields here. So I'm now here at the birthplace of the seven coloured tea, the Adi Nilkantha cabin. There are a bunch of others around the town of Sri Mangal, but this is the original. You can see the prices and all the different types. You are most welcome to test it which will live with you a lifetime. So here it is, the seven layer tea. 10 takar for each layer, 75 takar in total. Let's give it a taste. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know, there's just so much flavor. It's fruity, dark, sweet you can see all the mix of flavor and color in there it kind of changes flavor depending on how far I get down it to the next layer one thing for sure it's definitely pretty sweet as with most tea here in Bangladesh I've now left the tea cabin let's see if those seven flavors leave an impression on me for the rest of my lifetime I'm now on this road which heads north back towards Sri Mangal and you can actually rent a bicycle for 300 takar in town if you like to cycle this area that's a popular thing that people tend to do Come to all these uh, school kids. This is your uh, school. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Public high school. Public high school. Uh, public high school. Cool. Yeah, uh, video uploading on YouTube. Yeah, you'll be on YouTube now. I've just walked back into town. We're on the outskirts. Uh, yeah. Sri Mangal's this way. Uh, Sri Mangal. And there's a village called Ramnagar this way. I might go check that out. Ramnagar village? No. Okay. No worries. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Hey. Hello. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Rabbi. Jason. <laughs> I'm just. Uh... How are you? Oh, good. Very good. Thank you. Good. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> this side. This side. See? Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice. Hey. Hey. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, good, thank you. Yeah, this is your shop? Yes. Yes. Very nice. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> nice meeting you. Yes. So I'm now in the village, uh, I think. But pretty much the whole road was a village or outskirts of a village. Yeah. Really cool to just not eavesdrop, but just get a taste of how people really are living here. See bamboo to cross the stream. What's your name? <laughs> nice to meet you. Mama. <laughs> Mama, English man. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Dog. 
<laughs> Rejected. Yeah, England. Hi. Hey. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Tourist. Yeah. Tourist, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, hey welcome. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hey. Your school top. Sri Mangal Ideal School. <laughs> you picked the right school. Taking me to his school. Personal tour. <laughs> Hi. Hi. This is class H. Okay. Nice. You can go. I can go inside. Hi. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hey. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Hello. Hello. I'm good, thank you. Jason from England, Cambridge. Yeah. Okay. Carry on with your work. Don't let me disturb you, okay? Alright. Bye bye. Invited for tea for the second time today. <laughs> I'm getting good at this. Now I'm in the centre of town. So as you can see, this is Sri Mangal. Not particularly big, but still pretty busy. I'm just looking for somewhere to eat. Now back in my hotel room, just having a break. I had my lunch at a really good place called Ali's in Sri Mongol, and completely fresh food. The guy came to me and said, what do you want? And the menu was all in Bangla, so I just said, anything without meat is fine. Just give me whatever. And the food he bought was like fresh, prepared, and very personalized. Then he bought some dessert after as well. Again, I've been so touched by all the people I've met today. It's been just incredible. So I managed to find this peaceful spot, not too far away from my hotel. You can just see the sun setting through the trees. This is like a really peaceful little uh, patch of greenery. There's a road just over there. And I didn't really want to go too far outside the city because so many people keep on telling me not to roam around by myself once it's dark. Anyways, the color shining through the trees is beautiful. Bright orange color and sound of the birds. Nice pool of water here. And of course, with most of Silic Division, people living in close quarters. Hey, I'm now back in my room. I am heading back to Dakar tomorrow to extend my visa for another 30 days, so wish me luck. I'm planning on staying here longer so I can reach all the regions of Bangladesh and really cover the country properly and do it justice. A couple things I want to mention before I finish the video. I've been swarmed by messages on all platforms, Instagram, Facebook, um, YouTube, by email, <laughs> and essentially I can't reply to all of you. I'm doing my best. I'm filming, traveling and vlogging, editing and uh, spending time enjoying myself and sleeping every day and it's really hard to find the time to answer every single person. I'm doing my best and I always try and respond to as many messages as I can. And if I haven't replied to any of your messages, I'm really sorry. Um, the best way to contact me is through my Facebook page. That's the one I always start with, not my personal Facebook profile. And one more thing I want to mention is my Patreon account. I haven't made a video plugging it yet. I will do in a 
in a while, at some point in the future, but it is already set up and some people have already donated and I promise to read out the names of every single person who pledges to support me on my travels. So the very first person to support me was Larson Dumas and that was followed by VRL Sircell, Nigel Sargent, and Michael Billum, my brother, and John Tuffin, who gave me a uh, very generous donation as well. So thank you all for pledging uh, for my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next video. Peace.